Im Dong Hyun and Brady Ellison in one side of the draw and in the other Kim Woo Jin and Steve Whaler. So an all Korean final still on, but uh, Ellison and Whaler will have something to say about that. Wu Jin through 6-0 against Pat Scalucci. first semi-final and returning to the field is the USA Archer who's won this tournament four times more than anybody else and looking to retain the title he won in Denmark last year on target number one again world number four Brady Ellison of the USA opponent he had a bit of a match in the quarterfinals to reach this stage he was tested a little bit but that's all forgotten now for Im Dong Hyun of Korea ranked slightly higher in the world than Ellison but that means nothing now. These two archers know each other well. Top class athletes. And we've got a couple of semi final classics for you to enjoy here in Rome. Steve, what are you looking for from Brady here? What does he need? Well, Brady didn't shoot as well as Brady normally does in his quarter final, but he, he came back and. and managed to find the win uh, I think he'll probably be settled down I think he'll shoot a lot better here uh, I think Im Dong Hyun will also shoot really well so it's gonna be it's gonna be an interesting one Korean Archer gets us underway with an X10 Yep, right there. speak for themselves don't they there you go right there oh, no. that's not bad either you just need a, a, a click or two to the left yeah, absolutely just huh. edged out of this first set by three perfect arrows from Im Dong Hyun so Ellison is 2-0 down after the first set so he'll shoot first on target number one in this second set Looking calm, unperturbed by being 2 0 down. He's been in this situation many times before. Yeah, if you're making good shots, it's not a you know a huge concern. And he, he was making good shots. Yep. That'll get the line. Yeah. Oh. 
to him. Four straight tens for him. Just, above the first down. Just a little above, as you heard the coach say. So in with another chance here. Oh. Ellison clips the line and finds a 10 again. I think that one will be upgraded, yeah. Steve, but Im could close this one out as well. Held it a long time, didn't look entirely comfortable. No. So that will go, the screen shows 4-0, it will go 3-1 in favor of Im Dong Hyun. Yeah, the, the last array from the USA Archer, clearly on the line there. And, uh, can see a nice close up there just to confirm that. So Ellison's on the board, and that's important, isn't it? Yeah, yeah the only way I can see that being any different is if uh, we're missing it because of a hole, but yeah, the, the technology's not quite on, on uh, all the way there. They've changed it to a 10 on the uh, official scoreboard yeah. out here. So 3 1 in favor of Im, who disposed of Chef Vandenberg 6 4 in the quarterfinals. I think the, uh, the Falco eye, the technology we just saw, doesn't always account for the, di the full diameter of the arrow. So that's why you may have seen a, a gap between his arrow and the 10 on the, the, the uh, simulated screen, but in reality, it was a, it was a 10. That'll be a nine on the line as well, but uh, higher value scores. That's a nine two for him. So he's put two out of the ten consecutively now. So maybe Ellison's making him think a little bit. Perhaps he realizes the class of the man on the line beside him. And that gets a cheer from the crowd. Popular figure, Brady Ellison. Yeah. One more just like oh. yeah. Him matches him for score, if not for charisma. Yep. Right and he finds a tail again. So forces the Korean to need a 10 to share the set points. Oh, and he can't do it. That's pressure telling on the Korean archer, and that's pressure applied by Brady Ellison. Yeah. Brady to even that is really, really huge, obviously, but uh, more so for, as we've talked about in a few previous matches, more so for the momentum of the match rather than the, just the score of the match. I mean, there's, there's great continuity there uh, when you look at uh, Ellison's set scores, three lots of, of 29. Yeah. And although we're not shooting raw score here, that kind of metronome is ticking nicely, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah, they are they are dead even in, in cumulative score. Moving on to set number four, Kim Dong-hyun. So Im Dong-hyun. 26 World Cup stage medals from 22 appearances. Quite some shooter, as is this man. Four times winner of this competition. Nobody's won it more times. And that's something, when you've got your, your title to defend, you're not going to give it up easily. Right, and he's been six or seven times in a row now to this uh, to this event. Oh. Is, you know, uh, uh, the standard of consistency that Brady has is, is better than everyone else's. Sure, and the point's been made as well that it doesn't seem to matter what he does in the stages, Ellison, when he gets to the final, and he always seems to that he's a performer every time. Finds a way, yeah. So, even at 19, Oh, a millimeter away there, yeah. and that millimeter might be all that Ellison needs to go into a 
5-3 lead here. Oh, and he does. A fist clenched by the USA Archer, and his nose is in front now, and that's critical at this late stage of the match. We'll go down to a final set decider, and it is Im Dong Hyun who trails three set points to Ellison's five. You talk about momentum, Steve, and it feels like there's more on the side of your country than Ellison at the moment. Yeah, I mean, Brady is so popular at an event like this, too. When he shoots a 10, it seems like a, you know, a, just an astronomical feat. When his competitor shoots a 10, you know, they get congratulated. But uh, that, can, that can get to you where you really feel like the guy's bringing it and you're not sure if you're doing enough, you know, and, and these guys are nearly dead even in score. And it's certainly still a close match. Absolutely. In with a 10. doing all he can to wrestle back some control in this match. Got to be another 10 for Ellison, you feel. He's really, really found his rhythm now. Two arrows almost on top of each other. In with a nine, and the door is open. Yeah, nine wins. Wow, what a way to close our match. Three straight tens, the braces on the shooting line between these two great competitors. And oh, look at that from Brady Ellison. So popular, the crowd willing him on, and he finished off with a perfect 30. He's into another final match and another world title within his sights. Just raising his hand to the camera there, Steve, mm -hmm. with number five. I think it was a five. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> let's, let's go for five. You've got to see the contrast between these two. You know, a, a real kind of rock star of, of, of archery and then someone who's just more implacable, I guess you would say, and, and doesn't give much away, even in defeat, frankly. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Im Dong Hyun kind of came out. He shot the match. He didn't win the match. He's going to move on. And, you know, at some point you have to realize, yes, it's great to, to win the one in front of you, but it, if you don't, and in this game you, you often don't win, uh, if you don't win, you know, there, there is another one coming up soon, and it can, it can replace any negative feelings you had from this one. So, you know, Im could go and show up in Mexico City, win a world championship, he wouldn't, he wouldn't care one bit about this at that point, mm. you know. There's always something ahead of you and you can't change it, so you just move forward. I mean, there are times you get in a match and, and I've done it and I've said, I, I don't ever want to have to get back to this stage, so I want to win this one and be done with it. Check the box and, and move on. You know, and, and if you then when you if you can do that, then the next time the opportunity arises, then you, you're going to do your best to get back on that same stage. But you know, while while you're there, seize the moment. 